All right, Keith, thanks a lot. Well, in the third grade, students begin to learn their timetables. And when the numbers don't add up, you can guarantee that won't t one teacher won't stop until her students get the right answer, even if they use their fingers and toes to do it. WCBI's Renee Skinner introduces us to our Educator of the Week. Learning your multiplications for the first time can be confusing, especially when the numbers don't add up. I got 17. Well, if you don't know the answer, don't worry. But we were supposed to subtract. Okay, so everybody redo it. There's a teacher who will keep teaching 10 times over until you get it right. When they come in with me, I work with them over and over and over. I show them as many ways as possible mm -hmm. to work a problem, and, and they select the way what works best for them. Mrs. Deborah Brown is a third grade teacher at West Octibaha Elementary School. You have three, you have four, you have seven, you have 21. During math, the students are asked to solve the problem out loud. Set up the equation. So... If he has four days, you supposed to put so three and seven together. Mrs. Brown says this is one method to her mathematics. My goal is for them to uh, look for their mistakes. When they work their math problem, I always tell them to go back and double check for mistakes. Once they understand, mm -hmm. I have my students to explain the problem back to me. I select the difficult problems. Mm -hmm. If they can master the difficult problems, you don't have to worry about the test. While others seem to think it's an extraordinary way of teaching. Part of what stands out about her to me is her relationships with the children. Um, she finds out how they learn best and she teaches them in that way. Behind the scenes, we were trying hard not to stand out, but the camera lights gave it away. You are the WCBI educator of the week. And then when the lights in the classroom came on, Mrs. Brown couldn't stop smiling. It was a regular day and I was so surprised with when everybody come into the room. <laughs> I didn't know what to think. Well, that's okay. We're glad that you're smiling. You don't have to think. Just smile. <laughs> At West Octibaha Elementary School in Sturgis, I'm Renee Skinner, WCBI News. And Ms. Brown's hard work is paying off. Her third grade class earned the highest proficiency rate in math in the entire state of Mississippi. So congratulations to her. To nominate a teacher, you can go to our website, WCBI.com.